It's the holiday season, it's snowing, and we're in the mood for a Christmas pizza pie. In Old Greenwich, we're here to check out Ray Napoli. Today what we're going to learn to do is we're going to make the Palermitana style. You've heard of pizza napolitana? Well, this is pizza that's famous in Palermo, Italy. It's a Christmas pizza. It's called Sfincione alla San Giovanni. The dough that we're using is a dough that is made in an old Italian style. It's called the Biga method. You want to extend the dough with your fingers, press it down a little bit. Oh, okay. The next ingredient for your Palermitana Christmas pizza is anchovies. And canned anchovies is fine. Um, have them packed in olive oil is the way that I like to enjoy it. So it's just very simple. You're just ripping these in half and you're pressing them into the dough a little bit. A nice aged cacio cavallo cheese. So now this three time fermented Palermitano pizza is gonna go in for the first half of the bake. We're gonna cook this only until it turns color. We want the top to, to form a hard crust because we're gonna put a very, very wet sauce on this. What you have here is just a coarse breadcrumb with paprika and it's toasted. It's been toasted in the oven for about 10 minutes at 375. This is somewhat of a family recipe as taught to be my, by my grandfather, Nonno Arcangelo. Now we're making the sauce component for the sfincione. I like to get the pan on the stove, let that heat up. And then when that's hot, we'll put in a good rope of olive oil and we'll wait until that shimmers. The tomato paste helps to thicken the sauce. It gives it a very, very deep tomato flavor and it also adds texture and color. The next step after that is we'll put it inside of a, a food mill or food processor that you could use at home to make it more sauce-like. So we're in the home stretch. We have our final three components. This is the sfincione sauce. This is that onion and caper mixture. Uh, you can see the rich red color of it. It's absolutely delicious, trust me. We have oil cured olives, Sicilian oil cured olives. Um, they're a little briny and uh, they're a little pungent, but it's a great compliment that goes with this sweet sauce. And lastly, we have the breadcrumb topping that uh, adds definitely texture, flavor, and a little crispiness to it. You'll come home and you'll find this beautiful Christmas pizza that your mom has been making. And it's, and it's, it's something that's just very, very heartwarming and it just makes you think of home. It makes me think of my roots and my Italian roots and being with my grandparents. Back in the oven for another 10 minutes, I'm guessing, until the crust is golden brown. What do you think, Tim? Enjoy the Christmas pizza, the sfincione.